Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Kissinger at the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York, and this is fifth grade math, module five, lesson 12. Today, we're going to be measuring to find the area of rectangles with fractional side lengths. So we look at our first page here. It says, measure each rectangle to the nearest one fourth inch with your ruler and label the dimensions. Uh, use the area model to find the area. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and measure my sides. Uh, I need to find the inch side of my ruler. And I'm going to be going to the nearest quarter inch. So I start with my uh, zero on zero marker on zero. And it looks like it's going to be one. This big one here is a half, and then right in between a half and two is one and three quarters. So this will be one and three quarters inch inches. All right, let's look at the other side here. This one looks like we have one, two, three, and halfway between three and four, so it'll be three and a half inches. So I'll label this side. Three and a half inches. So if I want to use my area model, I'm going to have one and three fourths here. I'm going to use the opposite sides that I didn't label to label my uh, different sections of my area model. Um, this way I have three and a half inches. So I need to separate this into three. One. So three, and then I have a little half over here. So I'll have one and three fourths. And then this way I have, I'm gonna dot these. So that way we can kind of use this as one big section here. So I have to do times one times one times one. I can just do times three. But I do want to show that this is three and a half inches. So this whole big section right here is three. Put my labels in here, inches. Then this little section in here is one half, half an inch. Now it's time to fill in my different sections of my area model. So three times one is three square inches. Three times, or I should, I'll do this one next. One half times one will give me one half square inches uh, and then we have three times three fourths that's going to give me nine fourths and nine fourths is well eight fourths is two plus another fourth so give me two and one fourth square inches and then one half times three fourths will give me three eighths square inches. So now I have for letter A, I have three plus two and one fourth plus one half 
plus 3 eighths. Now I'm going to need to get a common denominator for all of those fractions. Um, and it looks like eighths is going to be my common denominator. So I'm going to turn this into 3 plus 2 and 1 fourth will be 2 eighths. 1 half will be 4 eighths. And then I have 3 eighths. 3 plus 2 is 5. Plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 will give me 9. 9 eighths. Well, 8 eighths equals 1, so that'll be another whole for me. And then I'll have 1 eighth left over. So I have 6, 6 and 1 eighth square inches my area. And that one's for letter A here. Six and one eighth. All right, I'm not gonna do all of these, but I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna do this letter D. So we'll measure this one out. Okay, let's do this little one over here, this letter E. It looks like I'm gonna have one and three-fourths. Which is by a half inch. So I'm gonna separate this into one and three-fourths. Times a half. So this part here is going to just be a half square inch. And then one half times one fourth or times three fourths is going to give me three eighths square inches. Three eighths of a square inch. Then I need to add those together. So I need to find a common denominator. I'll get uh, four eighths. One half equals four eighths. I'm going to add my three eighths. It's going to be seven eighths. So my area in here for this whole thing in here is going to be seven eighths square inches. All right, so let's move on to the next part here. It says, find the area of the rectangles with the following dimensions. Explain your thinking using the area model. So I have two and one fourth yard times one fourth yard. So I'm going to have to uh, draw myself an area model. So this side's going to be my one fourth yard. And then this side here, I'll have two yards and a one fourth yard. Two times one fourth will give me two fourths or one half. square yard and then one fourth times one fourth is one eighth a half plus an eighth well I have one half will give me four eighths four eighths plus one eighth is going to give me five eighths Five eighths of a square yard. My area for letter A. Draw a little line here. We have letter B is uh, two and a half 
feet by one and a quarter feet. Two, three quarter, and then this way. Oh, this one's two and a half. And then one and a quarter. One feet, one foot. Back a quarter foot. All right, and then one times two will give me two square feet. A quarter foot times two will give me two fourths, which is a half, half of square foot. Uh, one times one half will also give me one half of a square foot and then one fourth times one half is going to be one eighth square foot you know what I just realized I did one fourth times one fourth here, and I said it was one eighth, and it's not. It's going to be one sixteenth. So I had to be careful and take our time because one fourth times one fourth, we have to multiply our denominators, and that'll give us one sixteenth. Um, and we have one, so this will, this is going to change our answer. Actually, we're going to have one sixteenth plus, um, eight sixteenths, eight sixteenths is one half plus one sixteenth is going to give us nine sixteenths of a square yard. So it's going to change our answer a little bit. One fourth times one half, however, is one eighth. And now we can add these together. Now I'm not going to need to find like denominators because I have one half and I have one half, and these two together here are going to give me one whole. So I have one between the two of those. We have kind of like a square, uh, or not quite square piece, but a little more square. Then we have a like a long uh, piece here for one fourth by uh, one fourth by two feet. And this is going to give us one, that'll give us two, so that's three square feet plus the other eighth is three and one eighth square feet. That'll be our answer. All right, let's do this word problem here. It says Kelly buys a tarp to cover the area under her tent. The tent is four feet wide and has an area of 31 square feet. The tarp she bought is five and one third feet by five and three fourths feet. Can the tarp cover the area under Kelly's tent? Uh, draw a model showing your thinking. So, it's four feet wide and has an area of 31 square feet. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this tent here. And we know one side is four. The area is 31 square feet. So I'll we'll have to divide 31 by four and to find the other side. Well, 4 goes into 31, let's see, 9, 4 times, 9 would be 36, that's too much, 4 times 8 is 32, that'd be too much, 
4 times 7 will give us 28. And we have 3 fourths left over. So this will be 20, uh, 7. We have 7 and 3 fourths. 7 3 fourths times 4 will give us 31. So the tarp she bought is five and one third feet by five and three fourths feet. We know that it's not the tarp's not going to be wide enough to cover the area under a tent, but let's pretend they could. Uh, we could cut the tarp, and we just want to see if it has um, enough area to cover um, to cover all that space. We had five and one third. By five and three fourths. Let's do it with an area model. It's gonna be a whole lot easier. Five and one third. We have five and three. Fourths, five times five is 25. Five times one third would be five thirds, um, which will give us one and two thirds. Five times three fourths will give us fifteen fourths, which is three and three fourths. And then one third times one fourth, one third times three fourths is going to be three twelfths. Let's convert these into twelfths so that we can add them together. We have uh, two thirds. We can multiply both the numerator and denominator by four. So we're going to have one and eight twelfths, um, three and three fourths. We're going to multiply both by three, so that'll be three and nine twelfths. And then we have so yeah, this one, eight, one and eight twelfths, three and nine twelfths, three twelfths, and twenty five. 25 plus, let's add our, our whole numbers first and then we'll add our fractions. Plus 3 plus 1 is going to be 29. And then 29 plus 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. Well, 3 twelfths and 9 twelfths will give us 1, plus another 8 twelfths will give us 30 and 8 twelfths. And 8 twelfths is 2 thirds. We can divide both of those by 4, and it's going to give us 30 and 2 thirds. And it doesn't matter, even if we cut up the tarp into uh, different pieces and change the layout of it, we're still not going to have enough to cover the 31 square foot area underneath the tent. We'd be just a third of a, a square foot short. So, no. The tarp cannot cover the area under Kelly's tent. All right, so that is all we are going to do for today. Thank you guys uh, so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time.